NetBIOS is an acronym for Network Basic Input – Output System. It provides services related to the session layer of the OSI model allowing applications on separate computers to communicate over a local area network. As strictly an API, NetBIOS is not a networking protocol. Older operating systems ran NetBIOS over IEEE 802.2 and IPX, SPX using the NetBIOS frames and NetBIOS over IPX, SPX protocols, respectively. In modern networks, NetBIOS normally runs over TCP, IP via the NetBIOS over TCP, IP protocol. This results in each computer in the network having both an IP address and a NetBIOS name corresponding to a possibly different host name. Topic: <laughs> History and terminology. NetBIOS is an OSI Session Layer 5 protocol and a service that allows applications on computers to communicate with one another over a local area network It is a non-routable protocol and NetBIOS stands for Network Basic Input – Output System. NetBIOS was developed in 1983 by Citec Inc. as an API for software communication over IBM PC Network LAN technology. On PC network, as an API alone, NetBIOS relied on proprietary CITEC networking protocols for communication over the wire. Despite supporting a maximum of 80 PCs in a LAN, NetBIOS became an industry standard. In 1985, IBM went forward with the token ring network scheme and a NetBIOS emulator was produced to allow NetBIOS aware applications from the PC network era to work over this new design. This emulator, named NetBIOS Extended User Interface NetBui, expanded the base NetBIOS API with, among other things, the ability to deal with the greater node capacity of Token Ring. A new networking protocol, NBF, was simultaneously produced to allow NetBui NetBios to provide its services over Token Ring, specifically, at the IEEE 802.2 logical link control layer. In 1985, Microsoft created a NetBIOS implementation for its MSNet networking technology. As in the case of IBM's Token Ring, the services of Microsoft's NetBIOS implementation were provided over the IEEE 802.2 logical link control layer by the NBF protocol. Until Microsoft adopted Domain Name System DNS resolution of host names Microsoft operating systems used NetBIOS to resolve names in Windows client server networks. In 1986, Noval released Advance Noval Netware 2.0 featuring the company's own NetBIOS emulator. Its services were encapsulated within NetWare's IPX, SPX protocol using the NetBIOS over IPX, SPX NBX protocol. In 1987, a method of encapsulating NetBIOS in TCP and UDP packets, NetBIOS over TCP, IP NBT, was published. It was described in RFC 1001. Protocol standard for a NetBIOS service on a TCP, UDP transport, concepts and methods, and RFC 1002. Protocol standard for a NetBIOS service on a TCP, UDP transport, detailed specifications. The NBT protocol was developed in order to allow an implementation of NetBIOS applications to be built on virtually any type of system where the TCP, IP protocol suite is available, and to allow NetBIOS interoperation in the Internet. After the PS2 computer hit the market in 1987, IBM released the PC LAN support program, which included a driver for NetBIOS. Worth noting is the popular confusion between the names NetBIOS and NetBui. NetBui originated strictly as the moniker for IBM's enhanced 1985 NetBIOS emulator for Token Ring. 
The name NetBuoy should have died there, considering that at the time, the NetBios implementations by other companies were known simply as NetBios regardless of whether they incorporated the API extensions found in that emulator. For MSNet, however, Microsoft elected to name its implementation of the NBF protocol, NetBuoy, literally naming its implementation of the transport protocol after IBM's second version of the API. Consequently, even today, Microsoft file and printer sharing over Ethernet continues to be called NetBuoy, with the name NetBios commonly used only in reference to file and printer sharing over TCP, IP. In truth, the former is the NetBios Frames Protocol and the latter is NetBios over TCP, IP since its original publishing in a technical reference book from IBM, the NetBios API specification has become a de facto standard. Topic: Services. NetBios provides three distinct services: Name Service NetBios NS for name registration and resolution. Datagram Distribution Service NetBios DGM for connectionless communication. Session Service NetBios SSN for connection-oriented communication. Note: SMB, an upper layer, is a service that runs on top of the session service and the datagram service, and is not to be confused as a necessary and integral part of NetBios itself. It can now run atop TCP with a small adaptation layer that adds a packet length to each SMB message. This is necessary because TCP only provides a byte stream service with no notion of packet boundaries. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Name service In order to start sessions or distribute datagrams, an application must register its NetBios name using the name service. NetBios names are 16 octets in length and vary based on the particular implementation. Frequently, the 16th octet, called the NetBios suffix, designates the type of resource, and can be used to tell other applications what type of services the system offers. In NBT, the name service operates on UDP port 137 TCP port 137 can also be used, but rarely is. The name service primitives offered by NetBios are AddName – registers a NetBios name Add group name – registers a NetBios group name Delete name – unregisters a NetBios name or group name. Find name – looks up a NetBios name on the network. NetBios name resolution is not supported by Microsoft for Internet Protocol version 6 IPv6. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Datagram distribution service. Datagram mode is connectionless, the application is responsible for error detection and recovery. In NBT, the datagram service runs on UDP port 138. The datagram service primitives offered by NetBios are Send datagram – send a datagram to a remote NetBios name. Send broadcast datagram – send a datagram to all NetBios names on the network. Receive datagram – wait for a packet to arrive from a send datagram operation. Receive broadcast datagram – wait for a packet to arrive from a send broadcast datagram operation. <laughs> Session service Session mode lets two computers establish a connection, allows messages to span multiple packets, and provides error detection and recovery. In NBT, the session service runs on TCP port 139. The session service primitives offered by NetBios are 
Call opens a session to a remote NetBIOS name. Listen listen for attempts to open a session to a NetBIOS name. Hang up close a session. Send sends a packet to the computer on the other end of a session. Send no ACK, like send, but doesn't require an acknowledgement. Receive, wait for a packet to arrive from a send on the other end of a session. In the original protocol used to implement Network BIOS services on PC network, to establish a session, the initiating computer sends an open request which is answered by an open acknowledgement. The computer that started the session will then send a session request packet which will prompt either a session accept or session reject packet. During an established session, each transmitted packet is answered by either a positive acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement response. A NAK will prompt retransmission of the data. Sessions are closed by the non-initiating computer by sending a close request. The computer that started the session will reply with a close response which prompts the final session closed packet. <laughs> NetBIOS name versus Internet host name When NetBIOS is run in conjunction with Internet protocols e.g., NBT, each computer may have multiple names, one or more NetBIOS name service names and one or more Internet host names. Topic NetBIOS name The NetBIOS name is 16 ASCII characters, however Microsoft limits the host name to 15 characters and reserves the 16th character as a NetBIOS suffix. This suffix describes the service or name record type such as host record, master browser record, or domain controller record or other services. The host name, or short host name is specified when Windows networking is installed, configured, the suffixes registered are determined by the individual services supplied by the host. In order to connect to a computer running TCP, IP via its NetBIOS name, the name must be resolved to a network address. Today this is usually an IP address the NetBIOS name to IP address resolution is often done by either broadcasts or a WIN server, NetBIOS name server. A computer's NetBIOS name is often the same as that computer's host name see below, although truncated to 15 characters, but it may also be completely different. NetBIOS names are a sequence of alphanumeric characters. The following characters are explicitly not permitted, asterisk. Since Windows 2000, NetBIOS names also had to comply with restrictions on DNS names, they cannot consist entirely of digits, and the hyphen or full stop characters may not appear as the first or last character. Since Windows 2000, Microsoft has advised against including any full stop characters in NetBIOS names, such that applications can use the presence of a full stop to distinguish domain names from NetBIOS names. The Windows LMHOSTS file provides a NetBIOS name resolution method that can be used for small networks that do not use a Win server. Topic: Internet host name. A Windows machine's NetBIOS name is not to be confused with the computer's Internet host name, assuming that the computer is also an Internet host in addition to being a NetBIOS node, which need not necessarily be the case. Generally, a computer running Internet protocols, whether it is a Windows machine or not, usually has a host name, also sometimes called a machine name. Originally, these names were stored in and provided by a host's file, but today most such names are part of the hierarchical domain name system (DNS). Generally, the host name of a Windows computer is based on the NetBIOS name plus the primary DNS suffix, which are both set in the System Properties dialog box. There may also be connection-specific suffixes which can be viewed or changed on the DNS tab in Control Panel Network TCP, IP Advanced Properties. 
Host names are used by applications such as Telnet, FTP, web browsers, etc. To connect to a computer running the TCP, IP protocol using its name, the host name must be resolved into an IP address, typically by a DNS server. It is also possible to operate many TCP, IP based applications, including the three listed above, using only IP addresses, but this is not the norm. <laughs> Node types Under Windows, the node type of a networked computer relates to the way it resolves NetBIOS names to IP addresses. This assumes that there are any IP addresses for the NetBIOS nodes, which is assured only when NetBIOS operates over NBT, thus, node types are not a property of NetBIOS per se but of interaction between NetBIOS and TCP, IP in the Windows OS environment. There are four node types. B node, hexadecimal 01 broadcast P node, hexadecimal 02 peer wins only M node, hexadecimal 04 mixed broadcast, then wins H node, hexadecimal 08 hybrid wins, then broadcast The node type in use is displayed by opening a command line and typing it config, all. A Windows computer registry may also be configured in such a way as to display unknown for the node type. Topic: <laughs> NetBIOS suffixes. The NetBIOS suffix, alternately called the NetBIOS end character end char, is the 16th character of a NetBIOS name and indicates service type for the registered name. The number of record types is limited to 255. Some commonly used values are for unique names: 00 workstation service workstation name, 03 Windows Messenger service. 06 remote access service 20 file service also called host record 21 remote access service client 1b domain master browser primary domain controller for a domain 1d master browser for group names 00 workstation service workgroup domain name 1C – Domain controllers for a domain, group record with up to 25 IP addresses. 1E – Browser service elections. See also NetBIOS over TCP, IP NetBIOS frames protocol Server message block